Hello, I'm with Catherine Donnelly, Education Editor at the Irish Independent. Catherine, welcome to Two Talk Two. Can you start by telling me who or what most inspires you? Well, I looked at this two ways, Jim. I looked at people and I looked at the qualities that inspire me. And I came, it all came back to John Hume, a man of great empathy, a wordsmith, a man who created a vision and saw it through great persistence um, and at great personal sacrifice to himself. And left a massive legacy, of course. You see the Irish education system up front every day of the week. What bothers you most about it? Inequality, Jim. I still find it unbelievable that uh, children are born and on the day they're born, the, the height of their education attainment uh, is predetermined. Uh, we've had a lot of initiatives, a lot of interventions, but it's still, it, a lot of it feels like piecemeal. And I think we need some much, much bigger transformative initiative to address that. Well, I think there's a there's a challenge there for all of us, and I think a lot of people would agree with you. Uh, the media business under a lot of pressure, will printed newspapers survive? Will they be there in 10 years' time? I hope so, and I think so. We're, we're going through a period of great disruption. We have a hybrid now of online and papers, and I think that will continue online for the breaking news and papers for the bigger read. Maybe not every day of the week, but I, I, think, I, I think they'll survive. And a couple of quick fires to finish. Your favourite writer? Couldn't answer this one, Jim, but I can tell you my favourite recent book was uh, Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, a biological scientist who framed the book around all her great knowledge of nature and um, some lovely descriptive prose and a lovely human story as well. Oh, well, I'll have to look out for that. And finally, a newspaper headline for the university sector, if you were making one up. I couldn't ignore the moment we're in, Jim. And so degrees of equality as Irish universities appoint women to top jobs. Well, there's a headline. Catherine Donnelly, thank you for doing Two Talk Two.